Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. I am Dr. Muhammad Zaidi. Okay, uh, now I'm going to actually share with you how to register Go e-commerce, particularly for international student who uses passport for the registration. So this is an assignment which is compulsory for all students taking OHA 1032 and UBSS 1032 in semester 1, 2020 and 2021. Alright, so uh, one of your tasks yeah, one of your of your tasks is actually to register as a user for Go e-commerce. Okay, let me just show and then I will brief you. This this video I make it very short. Okay, so from your Google.com. Okay, normally very easy. Go e-commerce. So you have Go e-commerce Malaysian leading digital entrepreneur here. So you can click. Okay. So first thing, first things first. Uh, today is second of December, twenty twenty. But soon, on 7 December, uh, this URL address will be changed to a new one, which is this one. Okay, The rest of the content is the same. They are migrating uh, the domain to uh, mdeck.my slash goecommerce. All right. So this is the, the, the link. All right. So now I'm going to show you to register. Okay. So I, I mentioned just now, uh, it's uh, I do this particularly for uh, those our fellow students, uh, our fellow uh, UTM students who are who are not non-Malaysian, so that means registration through uh, the use of passport. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is to register here. Click this button to register. So you will be getting this uh, interface. Okay, so you first you need to put your passport. Very simple, passport number. You see, let me just show. Okay, for instance, let's say your passport is. Okay, what's your passport number? Let's say from your passport, your passport number is uh, B0056798. Uh, okay, so when you see here, once you put there, okay, okay everything looks nice, eh? no error. If like this, is invalid value. So if your number is like, your passport number is like 67, 895 okay just add zero zero leading the your passport number okay after the alphabet so and then you will uh, have uh, the you no longer have the invalid value so it's okay then you put your email address for example ahmad sabri at email email from your password a b c okay no need, to, no need to mention, okay. And if you want to name the full name, Ahmad Sabri ABC. ABC.com. Abdul Yusuf, for example. Are you interested to extend? Yes, just put, are you, yes, interested. Of course, we are in, during COVID now, you are all uh, online. Let's just put there and then let's say we put your uh, postcode based on UTM address and then your phone number phone number and then this one is important make sure you select student at TVET and you put I hereby acknowledge hereby grant hereby declare and then you click register okay so once you click register okay uh, once you click register you will receive an email but anyway after you register you can directly go and try to log in. Okay, you log in and then you can see, for example, let's say, I just try mine. Once you log in, you will have, okay, three menus here. Okay, so you will also get the first time user message. Okay, it sometimes also appears for those who are already 100 times users. It's okay, it's not a big deal. So go to track your business and then for those who are just registered okay just ignore this for a while go directly to my profile click my profile so for those who just registered you don't have this many information like like this information here okay you only have your name your ic identification card for your for your for your case is passport and then you have your uh, email address okay and your phone number the rest is empty so you can edit and add whatever it is information you you need to put there okay once you add you submit okay then you can get all the information here 
Okay, and then even this institution information you will get. There's nothing here. It will be empty, not like this. Okay, so you need to add class. Okay, you must register Go e commerce once. Once you register Go e commerce, you must add add your class eh? institution information. So when you click add new, you will be uh, having this interface. Select type of institution is IHL. Institution list. Go down, scroll down, and see UTM. It's here. Okay, and then you go to instead of institution, we are in Joho, and then name of institution uh, is UTMJB, and then automatically you will get this for uh, field number five, six, seven, eight automatically filled. Okay, just to make sure to remind you, if you don't have this automatically filled, uh, please use uh, Mozilla. Uh, Firefox or Chrome browser, okay? Safari, uh, Opera, Edge, uh, Internet Explorer is not supported yet uh, here, okay? To use the system. Uh, remember, use uh, Mozilla, Firefox or Chrome. Okay, then later on, you scroll down. Level of study. Bachelor degree study status will be full-time. Lecturer name. Uh, here, you choose your lecturer name, okay? Don't tell me you don't know your lecturer name. <laughs> so, you choose. Let's say my your lecturer is this guy. And then and then you put uh, this of course they will already have the list your lecturer already prepare this okay if your lecturer name is not there then your uh, please remind your lecturer to uh, to have him register first okay so it's like uh, parents and child okay so the parents must register something first so that the child can actually use the service so to the, uh, now it's 2020 2021 so I click here Subject name, introduction to entrepreneurship, class name is, for example, this is my class section, I put section 90, okay, and then month enrolling, uh, it was uh, actually October, year enrolling in 2020, internship, no, year of internship enrollment, everything will be blank because you just put no, expected year to complete study, let's say I'm third year students, I expect to complete study 2022, expected month, probably June, and then later to the study field, for example, I'm a uh, automotive engineering from mechanical engineering student. So it's not related to my field. And then what I have this, once you have everything here, you submit. Once you submit, okay, you will have your class information here. <coughs> so just, just now that I registered, okay, oh, it's not here. So, so then, 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 uh, then it will be here. Like you have, okay, so the next, the next one, that one done. The next one you go to business profile all these are your you and your friends business profile all should be the same if you are in a group of five okay everyone every remember every one of you must register go e-commerce must register right so uh, and every each of this business profile for every one of you should be the same because you are doing you are in a group you are doing the same business okay the same company name the same type of business and so on Okay, make sure everything is there, all right? Otherwise, uh, when when you list down in the report, your company name is not there. Okay, that is registration, generally, your Go e-commerce. Number two is registration of uh, a class, okay? Make sure you get your lecturer name there. Don't choose other lecturer. And then also, the second one is uh, business, okay? Here is your, once you register your company name, you will have the list here, okay? And then uh, this is where you register, uh, sorry, not register. This is where you record your sales, okay? So for example, I actually do online business through social media. And then let's say today, yesterday, like first, I got a sales of a month, 550 ringgit. Sorry, just to make it nice, 250 ringgit, okay, a month. Description of uh, five bottles of perfume. Okay, so I submit. So once you submit, <coughs> you can see automatically it's there. Oh, why you have this another 45? Because it's already in, in your record uh, previously. But for you, you don't have that edition. So if you scroll down, you scroll down. Okay, you can click this button, view your sales and expenses. Once you click, you can see. Okay, this the one that's not I put 250 ringgit. Okay, so those are uh, what they call the uh, cells that you just come you just recorded here on the for the first of uh, December.
Okay, so again, if you have expenses, let's say you have expenses, let's say you you uh, you purchase goods, okay, you buy goods, you buy the perfume uh, as a, maybe you purchase it on the 29th of November, so it's uh, 100 ringgit, okay, and then uh, Okay, so I put, <coughs> so then you can say when you click your sales, you can see here, this was the thing that you put just now, okay, that was a sales of 250 ringgit and they are expenses of 100 ringgit to replace your stock, okay, so of course, if you look at the net, generally 250 ringgit minus 100 ringgit, that means you have net profit of 150 generally, okay. But uh, for us, uh, for the class, okay, we actually look at sales. So we look at this, eh, your monthly sales. We don't minus that, okay? So, all right. So that's all for the uh, video on uh, registration for Go e-commerce, okay? Particularly for uh, non-Malaysian students because sometimes they are used in having your uh, passport number there, okay? Because of the... Uh, what they call leading zero zero number after your alphabet and then the second one uh, to have your yourself registered under your lecturer uh, class and then the third one is actually to have uh, uh, to know how to actually input your monthly sales yourself okay your sales and your expenses okay so that's all from me okay again let me just log out okay so So you will, uh, from the 7th of December, there will be new URL, okay? So uh, please make sure you know about this. Otherwise, uh, it's difficult for you to go and uh, <laughs> record whatever it is I, I ask you to do. So good luck and all the best in your business ent entrepreneurial project. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.